Federal prosecutors are asking a judge to make former president, uh, rather vice president, Mike Pence testify in a special counsel probe. That's according to a person familiar with the matter that's before a court in Washington, D.C. Special counsel Jack Smith is looking into the retention of classified documents at former President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago resort. Smith's team subpoenaed Pence, but Trump's attorney asserted executive privilege over the former VP's testimony. Other witnesses have used that claim during their testimony. This time, prosecutors are trying to quash it before Pence comes before a grand jury. Uh, you may have had trouble finding pre-made salads at the grocery store lately, and here's why. Dole had to temporarily shut down production plants in North America two weeks ago due to a cyber attack. A source says it was a ransomware attack. It's not known exactly how long production has, or rather was halted. Ransomware attacks have been targeting the food and agricultural sector in the last two years. Back in 2020 and 2021, the world's largest meat supplier, JBS, had to close factories in the US, Canada, and Australia before it paid hackers $11 million. One company that tracks such payments says ransomware revenue actually fell last year. It was down $457 million from $766 million in 2020 and 2021. Companies can no longer pay off former employees in exchange for their silence. This week, the National Labor Relations Board put employers on notice that they can no longer silence laid off employees in two very specific ways. Employers can no longer include a broadly written confidentiality clause that requires you to keep mum about the terms of your uh, severance agreement. And they can no longer include a broadly written non-dispargement -disparg clause that prohibits you from discussing the terms and conditions of their employment with third parties. The board says that both of these moves violate employees' rights under the National Labor Relations Act. The ruling is a reversal on what the Trump era NLRB members had decided in a prior case where lawful and restrictions on employees as a condition of receiving servants. A yellow dust covering cars, streets, and homes in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. It's not an early pollen invasion, but residue from a nearby grain processing plant. Ethan Stein explains. A cheer team in Iowa is making history with their first competition win, and it's a big deal for a good reason. Jonah Gilmore shows us how they're moving and grooving without hearing the music. It was cold out there this morning, Titans. When we come back, we'll have a look at weather and sports.